Assalamu alaikum my sister. So this video I will be talking about the Mahdi army, the Jal end of time and how this whole Malhama will take place. But mostly in this video I want to talk to you guys about what is happening in Afghanistan and that would be the Khorasan army. Okay, the Khorasan army. I'm not going to be mentioning the word T-A-L-I-B-A-N because for some reason YouTube would not like me to say that word. But when I say Khorasan army, I refer to uh, uh, to the T-A-L-I-B-A-N. What is happening right now, dear my sisters, before we talk about the Maha, the end of time, and the Jal and whatnot, I want to ask you this question. Are you aware of what is happening right now? Let me tell you this. Deputy Governor says the Khorasan army, or the Taliban, uh, captures Shibargan. Shibargan. Okay, it's, it's a very important district, very important location less than a day after taking over Zaranj in Nimroz province. The timid government forces, the we know, you know, the Afghan uh, forces, they're very timid. For some reason, they do not want to put up any fight. Qadar Malia, the deputy governor of Shebarhagan in uh, Zazwan province, he said, this is what is very important, how this timid Afghan forces run away. He said on Saturday that government forces and officials had retreated to the airport on the outskirts of the northern Afghan city where they were preparing to defend themselves. Uh, SubhanAllah, they are so timid. They're so afraid of the, of the Taliban. They would not even make you know, any effort to fight them. As you can see behind me, dear sisters, pictures of the U.S. Army bases in Afghanistan. They're, they, they are all gone, as we all know. They're all gone right now. Uh, but uh, you can imagine uh, how these cities in Afghanistan, they're falling to the Khorasan army one by one. The city has unfortunately fallen completely, okay? Malia told um, AFP news, uh, news agency, the government forces and officials have retreated to the airport, okay? Not only the, the Afghan uh, forces are timid and are being very, very scared of the uh, Khorasan army, but looks like also the Afghan government officials, like the people who are supposed to be the leader, and giving command they are also leaving provincial councillor bismillah sahil said that the khorasan fighters had taken over key buildings such as the government's office the police headquarters and the central prison in the city and taliban is becoming a hubris okay hubris uh, army with a lot of you know gut in them and they are wallahi is is a very dangerous thing uh, for the afghan forces um, by the way, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, inshallah, because we'll be talking a lot about this issue, uh, the coming of the Mahdi, the Jali, Ajuj, and Manju. So again, consider subscribing. Government forces are still there, though, okay? It is not that they have emptied out everything. They are still there. Um, the pro-government forces were still holding some areas inside the city, such as the airport and an army brigade. According to Muhammad Karim uh, Zazwani, uh, Zazani, a parliamentarian who represents uh, Zazwan. Okay, Do Dostum is back. Who is Dostum? Dostum is an important figure. Okay, if you want to understand the uh, situation in Afghanistan and the Khorasan army, uh, you have to understand who Dostum is. But before uh, we talk about Dostum, let me show you the map so that inshallah uh, you can have some idea where Afghanistan is. As you can see, Afghanistan is right here and bordering with Pakistan, Iran, uh, Turkmenistan. Now, the reason I'm showing you this uh, this map is because, dear sisters, I want you to understand that Pakistan has already given them, uh, given the, uh, the Khorasan army their pledge, okay? Pakistan already said, we will support the Taliban, you know, the Khorasan army, because, again, as you can see, Afghanistan, when I typed, if you type on Google Khorasan, you will always see Afghanistan for some reason. And it is true that northern part, especially northern part of Afghanistan, is part of the Khorasan. I know we also know Iran, part of Iran, uh, Turkmenistan, this whole area, okay, this whole area is very, very important. Uh, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, uh, Kyrgyzstan, why? It is because, dear brothers and sisters, there are prophecies that the Jal actually will appear from one of these places. Okay, Yakhruju the Jal bil Mashriq yuqalu lahu min ardi yuqalu lahu Khorasan. So the Jal will appear from one from one of these 
places, one of these countries. This is why this map is also so important. So Pakistan already gave them their allegiance that yes, we will support you, don't worry about it. Now, uh, let's go back to the topic, uh, who is Dostum? Because if you don't understand this person, his name is Dostum, uh, then uh, wallahi, you'll not see the whole picture. The city is home to notorious strongman Abdul Rashid Dostum, who only returned to Afghanistan this week after medical treatment in Turkey. Dostum has overseen one of the largest militia in the north, which um, garnered a fearsome reputation in its fight against the Khorasan army in the 1990s. Okay, he is a veteran actually, not a uh, you know, amateur kind of a guy, strong man or fighter. He's a veteran. He's very, very pro. Along with accusations that his forces massacred thousands of prisoners of war. So his, his forces are really, really bad. Like they don't care who you are, those Thumb forces. And they are in Afghanistan. So what happened? On Saturday, those Thumb held a meeting with the Afghan president, um, Ashraf Ghani, at the pre presidential palace. And a palace statement quoted those Thumb uh, saying, Okay, this is what Dostum said. It is time to stand alongside, okay, quote unquote. It is time to stand alongside the security forces and to stand in the uh, and to uh, stand against the enemy. So Dostum is saying, Taliban, look, you guys are bad people. I am going with the president uh, the, uh, to meet him and we are going to be united against you. So Dostum, again, this is a very important figure. A spunky Khorasan army, nevertheless, is winning, okay? The uh, Khorasan army has gained va vast parts of rural Afghanistan since launching a series of offensive in May to uh, coincide with the start of the final withdrawal of foreign troops. So Afghan the Khorasan army, in other words, dear sisters, they are uh, winning. They are actually gaining lands, they are winning territories, and wallahi, they are capturing many, many provinces as we speak. Let me play this video for you, inshallah, as, as you can see right behind me. Uh, this is a report in, uh, in Al Jazeera. Looks like Al Jazeera, they are supporting of the, uh, the Khorasan army. Uh, so far, they are saying good things. And why not? Because as we know that uh, Khorasan army, uh, some of them have actually gone to Qatar, you know, to broker a deal with the Western countries so that they can be in power and they will be accepted. And looks like that will be the case in the... In the the coming days. Why? Because Russia, China, they have all given their baya, <laughs> their their allegiance and their support, I should say, to the Khorasan army. So let's take a listen at her and then I will not play the whole video. Now in Doha with the headlines on Al Jazeera. We begin with breaking news out of Afghanistan. The Taliban have just seized a provincial capital as they make gains throughout the country. Our diplomatic editor James Bays joins us now live from Kabul. James, what more do we know? Okay, so they are... Well, we have two eyewitnesses confirming that the city of Zaranj in southwestern Afghanistan has fallen to the Taliban. That is the provincial capital of Nimroz province, and that would be the first provincial capital to be in the Taliban's hands. I tell you, the government say that they are on the outskirts, though, of Zaranj, and battles continue. Okay, but in the... so it looks like this gain was a huge one. Okay, this gain was a huge one because... This is a province, okay? The the one they captured uh, by the Khorasan army, this is a province. Now, let me, uh, inshallah, share with you uh, a hadith that uh, I mentioned in the past, and this hadith is very, very important for us to understand, to understand the end of time, the malhama that will take place. So what this hadith is, as we know, dear brothers and sisters, that this is something inevitable, okay? Whether we like it or not, because this is a prophecy of Rasulullah Sallam, it will happen. And this is what happened uh, when he said, uh, lil malah mal, uh, malhamati, that they will gather together uh, for the fierce battle and then they will have uh, 80 banner or 80 flag and each flag will have 12,000 troops okay but the word the key word here I want you to understand for now is lil malahmati, malhamati, that they will gather together it, it means the world superpower, I, I can be wrong, but looks like this is what will happen. The world superpower, they will come together, okay, to face the Muslims. Now, this will happen, according to my understanding, very subjective, after WW3, okay? This will not happen before WW3. However, right now we have seen, and looking back at the past history, we have seen how the British failed, you know, when they uh, fought the Afghan. 
um, in, uh, in uh, Anglo-Afghan War that took place in the 18th century. And then we have seen how the Soviet Union, Russia, okay, right now Russia, they have they were defeated. So U.S. they said, you know, we are not like them. You know, the reason some of the experts they said the reason U.S. went to Afghanistan is because they said to themselves, no, we are not like Russia, or Soviet Union, or U.K. or Britain. Britain, we are better than them. We are more powerful. Look at us, the technology that we have today, no nation had it before. So they felt this, um, you know, hubris uh, in them and they fell victim to their own hubris, means their self, you know, too confident. They were very, very, very proud and very, very confident about their ability. So they went to Afghanistan and now people are saying, the experts are saying, well, they look at what is happening with the US. They are also stuck, just like the British and the, and the Soviet Union. So different sisters, the point here is that they will, all these empires, they will gather together eventually, according to my understanding, to say, you know what, Afghanistan, what, do you, what is the big deal about it? Let's all go together. We cannot win individually, but let's go all together. And that's when I think the hadith will come true, Fayyas Tamiuna and Il Malahamati, that they will gather together for the fierce battle. Allah Alam, something very, very interesting, the prophecy will come true, and the way these things are being played out looks like the prophecy is right in place to be fulfilled by this uh, you know enemy and we'll see what happens inshallah but something interesting if you're again new here consider subscribing like this video if you share this video and i will see you soon again assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh